saving standards, as in the mandatory 1.7, 1.6 flush toilets, the uh, the light bulbs, that type of savings that are, are now requirements. Um, I mean, uh, I think it's pretty much bogus, except for the uh, the, the the toilets, of course. Um, sorry, being blunt here. Um, <laughs> if you want to go to what it costs us to to use the light bulbs that we then have to get rid of that are hazardous, that uh, that's an issue. Um, so as far as enforcing, you know, turn, people turning off their lights, conserving energy. If we take that the light bulbs and energy saving devices out of the out of the way, uh, enforcing what could best be termed as a uh, what a economic or a, uh, ecological morality. Um, that's kind of a tough thing. Um, I don't like the idea of using equipment that is hazardous and we're going to have to figure out a way to get rid of it and it'll cost us more in the end point or in the end run. So <laughs> it's one of those, almost like a trick question. Um, I mean, saving energy is great because that's always savings in the end, but I don't like the force of, uh, of saving energy. Um, you know, should we water our lawns uh, in the middle of the day? No. That's not really one of the the uh, standards they enforce. Um, that actually makes more sense than the light bulbs. You know the light bulbs I'm talking about, but uh, um, if they balance out correctly, we don't need to enforce them because we have a better product to to use in the. the here I'm looking at the paper to use in the uh, in the uh, the various places that the question was based upon.